Now, it's no secret that the iconic Marvel movies that we've come to know and adore all stem from the OG comic books. The best Marvel comic stories have frequently transcended media, but reading or rereading the original comic books will always have a distinct quality that the movies cannot achieve. So, here are our recommendations for the greatest Marvel comics tales of all time for beginners, along with the chronological order of the Marvel comic book eras. First things first, what order should you read the Marvel comic books? Well, the Fantastic Four were introduced in 19. 61, marking the beginning of the contemporary Marvel Universe. The concept of a shared universe with multiple superheroes who, while great, had personal lives that came with challenges as big as the colorful villains they fought, was officially established during this era, which is known as the Marvel Age of Comics. The Marvel Universe is as big as it is deep, spanning more than 50 years of comic books, and even longer if you include Golden Age tales set during World War II. What about those of us who wish to explore this vast catalog a little more thoroughly? We've come up with the ideal solution, a chronological list of all the comic eras so you ensure you're reading in the right order, but honestly, you could pick up any Marvel comic and be completely and utterly enthralled. So let's break it down. The Golden Age is the first age of Marvel comics, stemming from 1939 to 1956. Next of course, the Silver Age, 1961 to 1970, followed by the Bronze Age, 1970 to 1984. After those iconic Marvel beginnings, next we have the Modern Age Begins, which is from 1984 to 1997. Seven, followed closely by Heroes Relaunched, 1997 to 2004. Now into the 20th century, Marvel released the Marvel Disassembled era from 2004 to 2012, then Marvel Now from 2012 to 2015. After this, we get more into the New Age Marvel that we're all familiar with today, beginning with the all-new, all-different Marvel comic era from 2015 to 2018, then Fresh Start, 2018 to 2021, and finally Timeless, which began in 2021 and is still going currently. So now that we've spoken about the chronological order of the Marvel comic book eras, here are some of our all-time favorite comics we highly recommend checking out. First up, Sabretooth and the Exiles. The novel Sabretooth by Victor Laval and Leonard Kirk was a pleasant surprise. The plot of the comic, which featured Sabretooth as well as Third Eye, Necra, Oya, Melter, Nanny, Orphan Maker, and Mole, focused on their detention in Krakoa's jail, The Pit. It provided viewers with a fantastic story and great social commentary, while exploring the subject of correctional systems and the injustice justices they entail. For Sabretooth and the Exiles, a comic in which Orcus imprisons Sabretooth after escaping the pit on Krakoa, Laval and Kirk make a comeback. The other pit residents, who are given a mission by Xavier to kill Sabretooth and secure their freedom, are hot on his tail. It's fantastic that Laval and Kirk are working together again on this sequel, because Sabretooth was a fantastic comic and a must-read. Next, X-Men Red. Of Marvel's continuing series, X-Men Red shot to the top. As Storm, Magneto, and Sunspot work with the the aggressive mutants residing there, Araco, the Mars that has undergone transformation, is the center of X-Men Red, a spin-off of S.W.O.R.D. In the meantime, as S.W.O.R.D. director Abigail Brand strives to cement her position and carry out the wishes of her covert allies in the Orcish Initiative, Cable, Wizkid, Manifold, and other S.W.O.R.D. members are caught up in an internal battle. X-Men Red is the major sci-fi X-Men comic. Another great Marvel comic, Immortal X-Men. The X-Men series has been without a writer since Jonathan Hickman's departure. Technically, many readers have been turned off by the style and no-substance stories in the flagship comic. Immortal X-Men by writer Kieran Gillen and artist Lucas Wernick and Michelle Bandini is a better option for the line's main book. Immortal X-Men, which follows the members of Krakoa's Quiet Council, blends the strongest character development of any recent X-Men series with high-stakes intrigue, covert politics, and heart-pounding combat. Each issue is a work of art that highlights a different council member while outlining their schemes. Immortal X-Men is the book that X-Men fans have been waiting for since the beginning of the Krakoa era, and it never disappoints. Next, Civil War. Captain America Civil War, one of the best films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, was partially inspired by the Civil War comic, Crossover Arc. Ironically, during its run from 2006 to 2007, the comic book series by Mark Miller, Steve McNiven, and Dexter Vines was met with mixed reviews. The Superhero Registration Act, which required superheroes to operate under official control analogous to police enforcement, was the central theme of the narrative. Of. This pitted Iron Man supporters against Captain America's rebels, with the X-Men remaining impartial. But over time, the meta-commentary explored in Civil War helped the comic become popular in the past. Another great comic, The Punisher. Marvel has the Max label, which concentrates on more mature content, much to previous DC imprints like Vertigo. The Punisher Max by Garth Ennis, Greg Hurwitz, and Lawrence Campbell is among the best to come from that line. The titular anti-hero faces off against two opposing gangs amid a deadly conflict in the first volume 
which also features the return of a classic Punisher antagonist in the form of Microchip. The acclaimed MCU Daredevil TV series on Netflix took inspiration from its first arc, Kitchen Irish, which was also a comic book influence. The Punisher Max took place within the mainline Marvel continuity, but it told a more intimate, standalone tale that didn't emphasize character crossovers with other well-known figures. The Infinity Gauntlet The Infinity Gauntlet limited series by Jim Starlin was a loose inspiration for the MCU films Infinity War and Endgame. Starlin developed the evil Thanos in the early 1970s, and throughout the years, the author connected numerous stories to build a massive prequel to the Infinity Gauntlet. The story revolved around Thanos, collecting all of the Infinity Gems and going on a journey to exterminate half of all life to please Mistress Death. But when Nebula, his granddaughter, took the gauntlet, the Titan joined forces with the other heroes to stop her. The six-issue limited series became one of the most popular and significant comics of the 1990s, and gave rise to several sequels and spin-offs. Next, Secret Wars. Even if Marvel's event cycle during the 2000s hampered the publisher in many ways, it also resulted in some amazing event books. Secret Wars, a 2015 book by S. Ed Rebich and Jonathan Hickman, is among the greatest. It featured the aftermath of the incursions, with Doctor Doom of all people preserving creation, building on Hickman's Fantastic Four, Avengers, and New Avengers. Hickman delves deeply into Doctor Doom and his conflict with Reed Richards in this chapter, going beyond just a straightforward conflict between the heroes and Doctor Doom. Secret Wars exemplifies the power of a Marvel comic thanks to that and Ribich's amazing artwork. Also, Marvel Boy. Although Grant Morrison's stint at Marvel was brief, they created some outstanding work. Marvel Boy by J.G. Jones, one of the greatest, is among them. Novar, a genetically modified Kree soldier from an alternate dimension, is the star of this six-issue Marvel classic. In the 616 version, his ship is shot down, the crew is slain, and he's taken prisoner by the wicked Dr. Midas and his daughter Oubliette. Morrison then unleashes their unique brand of heroic hilarity on the Marvel Universe. Marvel Boy is a wild adventure that needs to be read to be believed, full of great concepts, gorgeous art, and more sharp humor than one can shake a stick at. Next, Wolverine. For one of Wolverine's best comic books, writer Chris Claremont collaborated with fellow industry veteran Frank Miller on the pencils. The pair collaborated on the initial Wolverine series, a four-issue limited series. It then detailed Wolverine's travels in Japan as he battled the Yakuza and prominent Daredevil bad guys The Hand. It also included X-Men superhero romantic involvement with Mariko Yashida, a member of Japan's infamous Yashida crime family. This storyline served as the character's classic arc, the inspiration for James Mangold's 2013 Hugh Jackman starring film The Wolverine. Earth X is hands down one of the best Marvel comics. Amazing other universes are common in superhero comics, and Marvel is no exception. One of the best is from Earth X, written by Jim Kruger with art by John Paul Leon and covers by Alex Ross. The Inhumans return with a warning just as a new villain strikes in the US in this possible future where everyone has superpowers. In an epic that forever alters how readers view Marvel, Earth X touches on every aspect of the Marvel Universe. It's as much about Marvel's past as it is about its present, because it connects the history of superpowers to its story. Next, Infinity Gauntlet. The Marvel event book was revolutionized by Infinity Gauntlet, the epic conflict between the Marvel heroes and cosmic entities and the Infinity Gauntlet wielding Thanos, which was written by Jim Starlin and illustrated by George Perez and Ron Lim, has become legendary in the imaginations of Marvel fans. The MCU received the motivation it required from this incredible tale to create the most successful film franchise in history. Infinity Gauntlet is packed with action and restored Adam Warlock to prominence in the Marvel Universe. It also made Thanos a major character once more. It's a true epic in every sense of the term, expertly written and masterfully illustrated. And last but not least, Squadron Supreme. Despite not having the same artistic heritage as DC, Marvel has its own treasures. Squadron Supreme, a work by writers Mark Greenwald, Bob Hall, Paul Ryan, and John Buscema, is among the best of them. Marvel's Justice League parody decides to seize control of their universe in its convoluted and murky narrative. Few Marvel books have examined superheroes with the same level of seriousness as Squadron Supreme. It's still unmistakably a superhero comic in the Marvel tradition, but that's sometimes a good thing. And there are some brilliant parts. A compelling tale, Squadron Supreme explores the place of superheroes in its society and what may transpire if there were superhumans in the real world. Unfortunately, guys, that's all the time we had for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.